Hello everyone, right here I have a 2006 Skoda Fabia 1.4 And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it. Show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. Press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's door and press it a second time to unlock the rest of the car. This Mark 1 Fabia comes with an electric rack and pinion power steering system controlled by a urethane steering wheel. This Fabia gets a 4 speed automatic transmission with low gear selection. Safety features in this Fabia include two airbags, an anti lock braking system, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. This Fabia is fitted with 14-inch Sprint alloy rims on 18560R14 Michelin Energy XM2 tyres. The front brakes are ventilated discs, while the rear brakes are drums. For the suspension, it is McPherson struts and a torsion beam setup, front and back respectively. The Fabia is Skoda's B-segment vehicle. It debuted at the 1999 Frankfurt Motor Show as a successor to the Skoda Felicia that was discontinued in 2001. There have been four Fabia generations produced so far, the Mark 1 or Type 6Y between 1999 and 2007, the Mark 2 or Type 5J between 2007 and 2014, the Mark 3 or Type NJ between 2014 and 2022, and the latest Mark 4 model has been on sale since 2021. The Fabia in the video is part of the Mark 1 generation. It went on sale in October 1999, before a facelift appeared in 2004, and a light product update in 2006. The Mark 1 Fabia is available with three body styles, a 4-door saloon, a 5-door estate marketed as the Fabia Combi, and a 5-door hatchback. All Fabia generations are related to other corresponding B-segment VW Group products of that era. So, the Mark 1 Fabia is related to the Mark 3 Seat Ibiza and the Mark 4 VW Polo. It is even related to its successor, the Mark 2 Fabia, as they both ride on the VW Group PQ24 platform. The range topper for the Mark 1 Fabia is known as the Fabia RS or Fabia VRS depending on the market. It uses a 1.9 turbo diesel engine, making it somewhat fast yet efficient at the same time. The Mark 1 Fabia was on sale in Malaysia in the mid 2000s. This Fabia is powered by VW Group's EA111, 1.4 litre, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine. This engine features multi point fuel injection. It produces 74 horsepower at 5000 rpm and 126 Nm of torque at 3800 rpm. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 17 seconds and the top speed is 166 km per hour. With a 45 litre fuel tank, combined fuel consumption for the Fabia 1.4 16 valves 75 automatic is 7.6 litres per 100 km. 
182 grams of carbon dioxide is emitted per kilometer, and the Fabia is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of this Fabia include manual leveling halogen reflector headlights, front and rear fog lights, indicators on the front fenders, and a single exhaust pipe. Mirror controls, speaker, storage, central locking, window lock, and your window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered, while the front two windows are the only ones that get a full automatic function in both directions. Interior brightness adjustment, headlight level adjustment, Storage Skoda Auto Floor Mats Pull this lever to pop open the fuel door And the driver's seat in this Fabia does get full manual adjustments This knob controls the seat back This lever controls the seat height well, that lever down there controls the seat position. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs. Very simple, manual air conditioning controls, fan speed, temperature, different modes, front defrost, rear defrost is right up here, recirculation, air conditioning, storage, more storage down here, and right here. Even more storage beneath the parking brake. This Fabia comes with the Symphony Hey unit with a CD player and four speakers for the sound system. The sound system that this Fabia uses is decent. 
It is a fairly simple head unit to use. Six preset buttons, your seat track buttons, rewind and fast forward, your various radio buttons, eject button for the CD player is right here, and the CD player is right here. In the middle, your volume and power knob, central locking, wiper controls. If you locate the buttons at the end of the wiper stalk, as well as this button down here, you can go through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, range, average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, outside temperature, time, elapsed time, average speed, distance travel, and back to the range. Now, within certain menus, you can see a very tiny one right up here. If you use the button at the bottom of the wiper stalk, you can go between 1 and 2. 1 is basically the information since the last startup, and 2 is the information since the last reset. Indicator controls and the steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Cigarette lighter or a power outlet. Cup holder, manual dimming, rear view mirror, front reading lights, and front interior light. The driver's side does get a sun visor, and also for the driver is a grip handle. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour. window control, storage, and the rear seats in the Fabia do fold. They split 60-40 when folding, and to fold them down, first, grab the seat base, flip it forward, then, you have to remove the headrest first, and then, pull the receiver to flip the seat backs down. As you can see, the 60 part is this side, which means the right seat and the middle seat, while the 40 part is the left seat. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. The seats are fairly nice and comfortable. 
on the front seat backs are storage pockets. You have another cup holder right here. No rear centre armrest for this one. But right above, for both sides at the back, are grip handles and hooks. the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and locate the touch pad beneath the Skoda badge. Boot space in the Fabia is 260 liters with the rear seats in place. Fold the rear seats away, remove the cargo cover and the boot space increases to 1016 liters. To the left of the boot is a light and on the cargo cover is a storage net. Under the boot floor is the vehicle's spare tire, toolkit and jack. Adjustable headrests front and rear. Window control, speaker, storage, and the front passenger seat in this car does get full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, just that this side loses out on the height adjustment. Nicely sized glove box, it is illuminated and you can chill the glove box as well just by twisting this knob right here. Grip handle for the front passenger and the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2006 Skoda Fabia 1.4. Thanks for watching and goodbye.